Shall I have a miscreants or a blaze star? Pint of miscreants and a and t please. What's wrong with calling it beer? You know, dress sense aside. Will you give it a rest? I reckon you found a good one. I know. And don't worry, I will find a way to get him to ditch that anorak. And I'll also take him clothes shopping. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. So, is the mystery man here then? He is, and it is round. What can I get you? Frank, it's you. Georgie Porgy, how are you, mate? Right, just popping out. You OK? Mm -hmm. You look jumpy. No. <laughs> Can't believe you went to school together. So come on then, Spill. What was he like? Well, Georgie was a good boy at school, weren't you? It's George now. And, uh, yeah, I'm afraid I was. Although, there was that one time. Remember Neiman's Nest? Oh, yeah. We had this science teacher right, Mr. Neiman. And he also taught gym. So we always had this massive sports bag at the front of the class. Oh, a sports bag, eh? Did you think he was a door-to-door -door salesman and all? I knew you were going to say that. No, even better. We made up this game, right? We had to kind of get stuff into it, smuggle it in without being caught. Pens, bits of food, buns and burners. The more random, the better. And so when he opened it up, he thought, well, actually, I don't know what he thought. I probably think he was teaching a bunch of hikes. <laughs> yeah, probably. But there's the thing. Do you know what? He never mentioned it, bless him. He was taking home a bag full of weird stuff every day and he never said anything. But anyway, George here, sorry, George trumped the lot of us. Do you remember what you put in? The skeleton. The class skeleton. Five feet tall, but somehow he managed to fold it up and zip it in. That is impressive pranking. <laughs> I guess it's because his family was used to manipulating bodies. Ew. Don't I feel bad for him now? Kids are horrible, aren't they? <laughs> we were a bit. Right then, my round. Do you know what? I'm bushed. I think I might go home and start the tea. Oh no, stay a bit. Be nice to catch up. Another time, yeah? I suppose I should go to leave you to your date. Oh, aye, it was a date, wasn't it? Oh, thank you. I've clearly swept you off your feet. Come on, we're going to town. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>